welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new season of That's So Vegan with yours truly, Mr. Hip. This the recipe, chefing up my specialty. Cook it up, 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 cook it up. This a recipe, plant base is a necessity. Hook it up, 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 hook it up. This the recipe, food the best therapy. Look it up, 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 look it up. This the recipe, peace signs and Today we're here with my boy Galen Williams, attorney and creative entrepreneur. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, sir. Oh, yes, uh, we have a special treat for you all today. Today we're going to be going over black-eyed pea fritters, uh, one of those meals that, you know, it's just you should eat at yeah. the beginning of the new year. These are our ingredients. We have a can of black-eyed peas uh, fully drained from the can. Here we have a half of a medium chopped onion, about three to four garlic cloves, uh, some some grapeseed oil for the skillet when you begin to fry them. Um, it's a neutral in flavor. About a third cup of oats, uh, not none of the quick cook stuff. Um, here we also have some thyme, salt, and black peppercorn, uh, cayenne pepper, as well as some cumin. So let's get cooking. Let's just start with putting everything that we have here in the glass container, and I'll give you a full to mash that up. But I, I noticed that you, uh, the recipe calls for uh, canned black eyed peas. Yeah. Is there any particular reason why canned and not the dry bean peas? Uh, so I'm always on the run, I'm always traveling. Um, and then, you know, with the can, it's already there. You know, just mm -hmm. drain, use. With the dry beans, you have to let them soak. Mm -hmm. Financially speaking, <laughs> uh, the dry beans are easier on the pocket just okay. because, you know, you can purchase those in bulk, uh, but with canned beans, just same thing, you know, just easily accessible. They used to feed these to the slaves back in the day because it wasn't deemed human food. Did you know that? I did. Oh, yeah. That and, and the, the whole history of the New Year's uh, uh, dinner, you know, you have the, the yeah. black eyed pea for good luck. You know, I actually keep a black eyed pea to this day in my wallet for good luck. Okay. Every year on New Year's, my mom would have me, uh, give me a black eyed pea, say, put it in your wallet. You'll always have money. I'm still broke, so I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I'm just here to say the planet, but first I say myself, went vegan for my health, but let's get more in depth, giving voice to the voiceless. What made you start the That's So Vegan cooking show? You know what I mean? Where did it, where'd the inspiration come from for it? I think uh, Instagram, you know, like I would post photos of just the stuff that I would eat when I would travel. Um, and people would like it, and that seemed to be more the engagement from the people that follow me. Uh -huh. So I said, let's put together a show on how to basically, you know, people who might not necessarily make a lot of money can eat um, and be satiated, satiated mm -hmm. when they're mm -hmm. able to um, dine and make this food. And, you know, we pass a lot of our culture down by the foods that we eat. True. I know um, just, you know, I learned everything about black history through my grandmother's cooking, you know, yeah. so just I wanted to be able to pass my culture down to people um, and also let people know that you can eat vegan on a cheap kind of like lifestyle sort of thing. So, so, so you, you know, you don't have to be a billionaire to be vegan? Not at all. I mean, it helps, but not at all. <laughs> so those patties those look patties good. patties are done. All right. Betty joined it like he was at the club, just with the parsley. <laughs> there, Making parsley rain. This looks good, man. Like, bon yeah, appetit. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to dig in here. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That chili sauce really makes it pop. Yeah, man. Tell us a little bit more about what you have going on for the new year. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it's going to be a big year. Um, I'm starting a, a podcast, Probable mm -hmm. Cause. Uh, a little play on the legal profession, but uh, it's sort of a minority, a black man's perspective on the political issues of uh, the day. So definitely looking to rolling that out soon and, you know, seeing where it takes us. I, I, I can't wait for that. You know, we need more Thank representation you. in that arena. So Absolutely. Uh, where can people find you if we look up for you online? Yeah, yeah. Instagram. My Instagram is at gentleman underscore G underscore dove. Okay, cool. And... Thank you for joining us today. Oh, man. Such no. a pleasure. Thank um, you for having me. I just want to say 
Thank you for joining us for the first episode of season two. Uh, we have so much more in store for you. The next episode comes out next month. But to hold you over until then, be sure to check out my latest album, Vegan Paradise, uh, fully plant-based and just delicious, as, just as delicious as this meal. So, yeah. See you soon. I just hope that they believe me. Life is not a gamble. Need some recipe. Check out my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. This the recipe. Chefing up my specialty. This the recipe. Plant base is a necessity. This the recipe. Food the best therapy. This the recipe. Peace, signs, and prosperity. This the recipe. In the kitchen regularly. This the recipe. Vegan is my destiny. This the 